and welcome back to the Donkey Kong Donkey Kong Climber talk through me the Jelly Monkey and me Spend the Crusader as always. Yeah, sorry for the quick cutout on the last video. We didn't realize time had run out. Anyway, <laughs> and now big fat gremlins with evil laughs. Pretty much, and Diddy making a really bad part of King K Fool. Oh, Diddy, my brother in arms. <laughs> but uh, he has a but can rule set an evil trap and this one Kremlin doesn't feel like living. <laughs> that guy is too dumb to live. <laughs> uh, no. Of course an audience of once again boss time. And this boss is a bit strange as to where it comes from. You'll see what I mean in a second. Super Saiyan! Uh, Nope, we gone for the whole dragon, baby. <laughs> okay then. Yeah, this boss, it can be harsh, but once you figure out what you're doing, he's not too bad. You'll come out of these random holes. If his mouth is closed, he's about to attack. If it's open, he's just faking you out, basically. Like that. You'll just come straight yeah. back in. And what you want to try and do is hook his tail up to one of the uh, rings so that... He does that. That? Okay, did, did I just see him vomit his soul? Um, more or less, yes. Um... Um... <laughs> oh, but it gets even better. Uh, every time you hit him, he in order to get out of the ring, he has to pull off part of his tail, which means he's a faster and smaller target. <laughs> um... <laughs> <laughs> so we have the vomiting up his soul, and then we have the Kongs mutilating. Pretty much, yeah. Um, and how are we the heroes again? Because this guy spits fire. <laughs> yeah, that's that's totally it. Yeah, oh, don't, I don't think you can stay on the ground for this one. The fire spits out shock waves, and well, if you're on the ground, you're dead meat, pretty much. You know you've you know you've been privy to an undue amount of Naruto whenever you think Shockwave is going to turn into Chakra. <laughs> oh dear, but yeah. The best way to avoid these flames, because I'll be honest, this is the hardest part of battle, is to try and get yourself in a just the right position. Because you always go Oh, center, right, left, then center again. And when he does center, basically just try and aim towards him because that's the best way to avoid it. <laughs> that that almost seems counterproductive, but hey, if it works. Well, think about it, he's spitting them to uh, he's spitting them out of his mouth forward, so if you're more of his cheeks, the breath can't hit you. True, true. And yeah, if Dragon you up, juggling. Come on. <laughs> Yeah, that's pretty much what you have to do. You have if you miss the rings, you have to juggle him pretty much, and come on, I pressed A twice. <laughs> it doesn't matter particularly which ring you get him in, but I would recommend aiming for the top one since they're the easiest to can just hit from the ground, and come on, please! Damn it! This... This oh, seems like such a joy. Okay. It's what well, there we go. Is he gonna hit into one of the rings? This thank you! <laughs> and there we go. <laughs> and we really did just make him vomit up his soul. Pretty much, yeah. <laughs> and he's out of there. Ooh, that banana. Is... <laughs> All right. Speaking of noises, I've forgotten how joyous the Kremlin dying sound was. <laughs> <laughs> oh, but this is definitely one of my favorite cutscenes in the game because, surprise, K. Rule has a cool vehicle. Somehow I'm not. Somehow I kind of saw it coming. Yeah. <laughs> but just call it a hunch. Gets... <laughs> well, he always gets the best machines. What? But yeah, he even has a he even has an bison floating platform. <laughs> 
But yeah, there are two cool references I love in this scene. First of all, he names his ship the King Cruiser 4. Now, you may be wondering what the other three the King Cruisers were. Well, the final world in, Don in DK King of Swing was King Cruiser 3. The other two were the flying machine he had in Donkey Kong 64 and the flying croc for Donkey Kong Country 2. Nice back reference. Yeah, and an answer is watch these animation. <laughs> exactly the same a losing animation from Donkey Kong Country. <laughs> That's awesome. Oh, dude. But yeah, this is the awesome idea that sets up the next world. Basically, Karul's now on his way to basically take over the universe, and the only their only chance is to catch up with the ship, and so they're gonna have to climb up this mountain in order to catch up with him. Climb, Donkey Kong. Climb like you've never climbed before. Yes, yes, do that. But first, go to the Lost Island levels, because 100% completionism and all that. It's on the way! <laughs> you know, speaking of which, I don't see why they just don't use Funky's flights to follow Karul up the mountain. Uh, fuel. <laughs> yeah, I gotta keep an eye on that pollution. It's such a big problem in... <laughs> nice work! Yeah, this stage is kind of evil with that angle, because it's way too easy to bounce off that first section. Trust me, there's about five depths you I like, cut out from there. <laughs> hey, but in all seriousness, I do generally think fuel is a problem because to get to these Lost World stages, you do have to use the, um, <laughs> you do have to get fuel valves, so. Okay, fair, fair oh. enough, fair enough. And given they're well, so that... rare, I guess they'd be like twice the, twice the money they cost in real life, which is kind of sad when you think of it. <laughs> Yeah, although, in fairness, one could ask why exactly Funky needs you to get the fuel for him. I mean, uh, him being be an airlining business, you'd think he would have thought that through, but anyway. <laughs> yeah, that... Well, that... Isn't it just me, or didn't he have a... Didn't he have a crazy gun freak stage? Doesn't he have, like, enough weapons to shame the gun running industry? <laughs> <laughs> um... That's true, I don't know what he's done with them these days. Anyway, uh, the reason for the fade is there are two paths you can take. The right hand one, which um, allows you to. Uh, uh, basic. <laughs> the right hand path, which. Oh, God, sorry, I can't go for invincibility frames. The right hand path, which allows for a quick exit, and the left hand path, which I think leads to a banana coin. The reason I say think is because this is the second time we've did this since uh, I may have accidentally deleted the original footage. Sorry. <laughs> but thankfully, due to the magic of editing, I can point you to where the banana coins and stuff actually were in the original, so... Yay. And it's also the reason why I'm seemingly risking life and limb to collect bananas. <laughs> <laughs> yes. That's where the banana coin normally would be. Otherwise, I know DK loves bananas, but I don't think he's that desperate. <laughs> Clearly, he's been malnourished. <laughs> and by the way, that is a very dickish spot to put the DK barrel. <laughs> <laughs> so, sorry, yeah. Daddy, you may be my nephew and long and longest lived companion, but you're not worth my own life. <laughs> oh dear, but yeah, in case you haven't figured it out, the main gimmick for this level is sliding. Basically, joy of heavenly joys. Bye, Diddy. <laughs> that it's like the Winter Olympics. <laughs> Sadly not. It's just like the Olympics. 100 different types of sliding. <laughs> and yeah, I was not going to risk that one. <laughs> <laughs> and that takes care of another Lost World. And that also takes care of another part. I'd be the Jelly Monkey. And I've been Sven the Crusader. I have no outro. Monkey abs. <laughs>